guys, what's up? I'm Brian here doing another video for you guys and this time I'm doing a review on the Hot Soldiers Medical Officer Ambulance. I was at the Capital City Comic Con and the Ages 3 and uh, sorry, Ages 3 and Up booth was selling this so I decided hey why not pick it up and so I did because I wanted to get a little bit more third party stuff in my collection. So anyways, with that said, let's take a look at the stuff it comes with. I also want to say I am working with a new light, a much brighter light. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it, but uh, we'll just have to wait and see. So tell me if it's any good. Anyways, we've got the instruction booklet, which is very nice, very similar art to one of the sides of the box. We'll talk about the box in a second. Um, but if you look at the inside, it's very G1-esque. But unfortunately, they kind of skip out on a few things. Like right here, you have to rotate the arms in a certain way. Uh, they don't really show that. Uh, and rotating the um, the waist down here, you kind of have to do something. And I'm going to talk about that in a bit. Um, but you do get advertisements on the back. I always love those advertisements. Uh, you also get a couple of bags with the accessories. And inside, actually, I'm not going to pull it out. But you get the card. And it says Hot Soldiers on the top there. And there's the stats. Pretty cool. That is Medical Officer Ambulance. Because they couldn't actually say the name. And uh, here we go. This is apparently a G1 style uh, figure. And I'm going to lift up the camera so that I can show the packaging. And here we are. There's the side with the advertisement. So you get... Uh, a different figure than what's advertised in the booklet you get the original color scheme in the booklet here you get the limited edition uh, soundboard in black or whatever uh, and then you also get iron tin at the bottom and then on the back here you get a more G1 aesthetic uh, style packaging and then on here you get the full toy and there we go now taking a look at his accessories we've got a whole bunch of them we've got these tread pieces, two of them are the same, one is different. We're going to talk about them with the uh, robot mode coming up, so there we go. Uh, we also have this gun, which can fold up like so. And you can plug these weapons onto the top, which is nice. I've noticed that the 5mm port weapons that all the other Transformers use doesn't really line up here. Like, the hands on this can't really hold any of the 5mm port weapons. They are just uh, too big for this figure, so... Yeah, that's kind of disappointing that you can't really swap out the weapons. But anyways, you get that. Uh, you also get uh, this little gun right here, which looks pretty cool. You got a hole in the top, which you can try to plug on weapon. Oh, okay. I, I guess it does work. Um, doesn't really work with this. It's too small for that. Uh, you also get a couple of guns which are pretty much mirrored, and we're going to take a look at that in a second. Uh, you also have a wrench, which is pretty cool, has a tab on the side. And then this little uh, welding torch right here, which looks pretty cool. It is different than the guns, it has a uh, smaller end to it. So there you go. And uh, you can take the weapons, you can take the wrench, and you can plug them onto the back. That's not the wrench. Uh, this is the wrench. You can take that and plug that onto the bottom. You can also take the welding torch and plug them onto the bottom, like so. Or, if you want, instead, you can take the guns and you can plug them at the bottom. Unfortunately, you can't add all the weapons onto this. So, yeah, but uh, at least you can do that. Another thing that you can do, which I found out is not in the instructions, is if you lift this up and pop this out, you could take this gun and, let's see, we'll plug it this way, like so. And then you can put that between the arms inside the car, and you can have that hiding inside. So that's pretty cool. I'm not sure if that was intentional and they didn't really mention it, but uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. Now, the differences between this and, what is it, uh, Iron Tin is not only the color scheme, but you do get the lights on the top. You can take those off. Um, I have noticed that it's probably best not to push them in all the way because I've noticed that one of the tabs is slightly broken. So, you got that. 
just something to watch out for. But uh, the color scheme is nice. You know, you get the red on the side. It would be nice to see more coloring on this toy, but uh, for what it's worth, it's all right. Uh, you get silver in the wheels. The front of it looks pretty good. Uh, this is more of a violet s color. It's not exactly like what they have in the packaging, but, you know, that's fine. Um, and this is unpainted. This is completely unpainted. I'm going to talk about that more in the robot mode. But, yeah, I find that kind of unfortunate, um, especially with the windows on the side here. I don't know. Maybe that's on purpose because it is an ambulance. Maybe they just don't have the windows on the back. I don't know. I don't know much about ambulances. Um, but, yeah. And also, you can see the cracks in the window right here. That's not too pleasant to see. Although, I do understand why they had to do that. Uh, again, you could take the guns and you could plug them onto the top here. But uh, one thing to note, you got this bar extension thing. So you could plug that in like so and have some larger weapon or whatever. Um, but I got to point this out. Don't plug that in and start twisting it because you might break the stem. What is needed here is a bit of plastic on either side to frame this so that it doesn't wiggle around too much. Otherwise, yeah, I'm, I don't feel comfortable doing that. But uh, other than that, I mean, this isn't bad. It rolls. It's about uh, the Legends class scale, so that's very nice. I forgot to put a transformer in the alt mode so that I can size compare it. But uh, with that out of the way, let's go ahead and transform it. So... The first thing you have to do is take this off. Yeah, it's kind of a parts former, unfortunately. That's how it is. Uh, this does transform, or not technically, I, I don't know, but uh, this does become uh, the, um, the original kind of display uh, weapons platform that the original toys had. It's just a smaller thing. Anyways, uh, let's go ahead and transform this figure. The first thing you want to do is take the arms and pop them out from the side just to get those out of the way and you can move these out I think the instructions have this in a different order I just find this easier and I notice that the joints here are extremely tight and I feel like they're gonna snap like they're just gonna as soon as I turn them they're gonna kind of twist and pull and it's not gonna be good uh, next you can take your fingers and move these panels to the side like so like there we go and then next what you want to do is take the wheels and push them into the body, which is nice. And then take this down like so. And then extend out the legs Combiner Wars style. Or kind of Combiner Wars style. Not really, I guess. I don't know. Anyways, uh, and then next what you want to do is take this, flip this up. And then this foot is underneath here and it's really hard to get at. But you do that. Then you push down, and that creates the leg. Now, on one of these sides, it's actually the other side, you got this little uh, gap right here that you have to watch out for because it does catch onto the corner of that. I feel like they needed to smooth that down, but uh, it is possible to move that in place. And let's see, get the foot. Uh, it's really hard to get. Come on. There we go. And then, once again, push that down. And now it should line up like so. Let's move up the camera just a bit. Next, what you want to do is rotate this top section around like so and bring this up. Now, when you're transforming it back into the alt mode, what I've noticed is it's really hard to try and get this section to open. Even when my finger catches it, it's still pretty difficult, so what I recommend, or not necessarily what I recommend, because I, I feel like I'm going to break it, but it's it's the best way that I've found. You could probably take a weapon and try to flip that down, but it doesn't seem like there's enough clearance to do that. Which is weird, because I can flip that up easily, but flip that down, I don't know. But uh, I just, there's a little bit of wiggle room, I just try to move that back just a bit and rotate this around, because you got these little indentations or these little ridges that go into little gaps underneath here and that's what kind of holds it in place so that's just something to watch out for I'm, I'm probably not explaining that too well but hey uh, anyways uh, bring this up and it will snap into place sometimes it will pop off you just plug that back on it's fine uh, flip that up take the arms rotate them down and then rotate 
Do the same thing to the other side like so. And there is medical uh, officer ambulance in his robot mode. I know he's very bright, but uh, looks pretty cool for the most part. He doesn't have a lot of coloring to him, but I don't feel like Ratchet really needs that much color. Yeah, it, it's pretty much Ratchet. We all know who it is. Um, the unfortunate part about this toy is this is left unpainted, and it kind of sucks for the alt mode. In robot mode, I kind of get it, but I would like to see more of that paint. I, I think that would have helped. I kind of get what they're going for, but I don't really think it works. Other than that, I mean, you got the plus logos on the top here, which is fine. Uh, the hands are painted, which is pretty cool. You got all the articulation, which is good. You got a ton of ball joints, very tight joints. Some of them I'm kind of worried about, but some of them are all right. Uh, when I first moved the head, that was a struggle that I did not enjoy. Uh, but yeah, you do have knees. Uh, just watch out because you have double knee joint uh, due to the transformation. Uh, but overall, it's fine. You do get... A peg hole on the back so you can attach weapons onto that. Uh, you do get the hands, of course, so you can attach the wrench if you like. You can attach the uh, the torch if you like. You can attach whatever weapon you want onto this toy. Now, before we continue on with that, we got to take a look at this. So the first thing you have to do is take this off. And there's these two little grooves that you can take and plug that back into here. I don't even think the instructions really show that. But I could be wrong about that. Uh, and then take the one with the rectangular peg, the bigger peg, and uh, the one that's more rounded off, and plug that onto there. And yes, the lights just popped off. And then take the ones that are more uh, triangle in shape, and they got the smaller tabs, and they'll plug onto the back right here, like so. And there you have some sled weapons platform thing. Now, he needs some weapons, of course. So I'm going to plug that back into place like so and then you can take this and extend this out now you could plug this like so if you like or use the smaller peg and the hole right there and plug that in like so and then next what you could do is plug this weapon in like so and now you have that now there's a couple of things you could do you could take the guns and you can plug them right onto here which isn't too bad. That's not the gun. That's the welding torch. Ah! Everything's falling around. Anyways, uh, you can take the guns like so, or what I like to do, because I like to give Ratchet these. I, I know some people are going to give Ratchet these. I like to plug the wrench and the torch there, and then give him the guns. I don't know. I just feel like Ratchet needs a couple of weapons, so those are pretty cool. Um, but yeah, pretty much Ironhide has the same weapons platform. It doesn't have the lights, um, and he pretty much has a different head. So if you get this, you pretty much have Ratchet in a nutshell. Um, so with that out of the way, um, is there anything more to talk about? Oh yeah, there is one more thing. You can pop off the chest. I don't know why you can, but you can do that. So, woo, cool for that. Um, so yeah, uh, he looks fine. For the most part, a little gappy on the back, but whatever. Uh, size comparison, almost forgot to do that. Uh, we have a deluxe class chrome dome right here. As you can see, he is a lot smaller than him, but it's a different scale, so that's fine. And then we also have Brawn right here from the Transformers Titans Returns. And as you can see, that size, you know, works. I mean, if you're going to go for a full-on legend scale, Bronze should probably be here. But he's kind of, he's the Legends class, but he's a different scale. And it's confusing for me to talk about, so I'm not going to really discuss that. You guys probably know more about that than me. With that said, that is Medical Officer Ambulance. I paid 25 bucks for it. Um, I'm not sure if it's fully worth the 20 bucks unless you really like Ratchet. Um and you really want a Legends class version of that, because it seems like the Legends class lineup is really getting the attention of a lot of the Transformers fans. And it seems to be a pretty big deal, and I understand why. Uh, because they're adorable, and, you know, it's cheaper to get some of these than some of the bigger third-party stuff out there. And, and, you know, they do a good job. 
I just don't think that Hot Soldier Medical Officer Ambulance, and yes, that is a mouthful, is really the best version of Ratchet out there. I, I would like to see a better one come out. Um, because, again, it's lacking in paint. Some of the transformation bits, some of the joints just feel off with me. Um, I'm not sure about this weapon platform thing. I, I feel like if the weapon platform could attach to Ratchet in some sort of way, I'd be fine with that. But the fact that it just goes to the side, I don't know, it just doesn't really work for me. Uh, I understand what they're doing with that, but I kind of wish that it was something that could attach to the figure. It doesn't need to attach all the weapons and stuff, because I understand that that is so much to put on the figure, but at least the, the base of this from the alternate mode would have been fine. Uh, with that out of the way, I do like the toy, I just don't know if it's necessarily worth 25 bucks, but I don't really buy a lot of third-party stuff, so I don't really know the value too much on some of these. As far as this toy is concerned, he's not my favorite third-party toy, but I don't think he's bad. So if you guys really want it, if you guys want Ratchet in this scale, I'd say go ahead and get it. Anyways, with that said, I thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, and all those fun doodads. And I'll see